again, now we're dealing with square roots. Well, again, in this example, I can't simplify the square root of 4 times 2x. So I'm just not going to do anything with it. It's simplified. Then I try to simplify this. I can't take the square root of 6. I can't take the square root of x. But I can take the square root of y. So that's going to become 5y times the square root of 6x. Okay. Now that they're both simplified, I apply the operation, which is multiplication. And remember, the rules of multiplication that we stated is when you're multiplying, as long as they have the same root, you multiply the radicands. So I'm going to have 4 times 5y times 12x squared. Now, obviously, we can multiply 4 and 5, right? That becomes um, 20y. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to say, well, can I rewrite 12? Uh, no, this, I can't take the square root of 12, but is there a square number that divides into 12? It's 4, right? So I have 20y times the square root of 4 times 3 times x squared. Well, I can take this. Justin, can you find a different seat? I'm actually uh, going over this. That, that's fine. Just find a different seat, please. Um, so the square root of 4 is going to be 2. The square root of x squared is x. And then you're left with square root of 3. Now, again, everything is separated by multiplication. So therefore, my final answer is 40yx times the square root of 3. So the basic process is going to be the same. Simplify, 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 